here with men's hockey coach Bill Moore. Coach heading into a big uh, showdown with St. Thomas this weekend, coming off of a really big uh, sweep of Bethel last weekend. Talk a little bit about last weekend and the 4-1-5-1 victories. Well, I think the big thing we harped since we've been back from Christmas that we need to play better in the defensive end. I thought towards the end of the, of the year, uh, of the 2012 calendar year, we started playing very poorly in our end and maybe played a little bit selfishly with offensive um, threats. And we tried to really change that and put the emphasis back on playing D. And I was very, very excited that uh, we only gave up a one goal in each game. You know, and, and part of that, you've certainly got to give credit to uh, to your goalie, Andy Scheib. Two very, very good games. 30 saves in the first one on Friday and then 22 on Saturday. You look at that, and that's really the other part that we talked about at the end of the 2012 part of the season was is you needed the goaltending to get better. And, you know, when your goalie's only given up one goal, it certainly uh, bodes well for, for victories. Absolutely, and Andy did play very well. I think the... Um I think we outshot them in both games, so I was excited about the offensive threat that we created without giving up in the defensive end. But I think the biggest thing was is that our defenseman gave Andy a chance to make the saves. Um, in towards the right before Christmas break and even the series right after break, um, we were standing around in front of him and screening him and not allowing him to see pucks. And it makes it very difficult when there's, there's a lot of traffic in front of him. So I thought we cleared the net a lot better, let him see it. And Andy's a very, very good goaltender. When he can see the puck, he's going to have a good shot at, at making the save. And to score nine goals in a series is certainly nice. Uh, Friday night, you had goals from four different people. Bobby Thompson had a big night with, with three points. And then on Saturday, you got uh, Mike Hill and, and Nick Gorup each scoring two goals. So you're, you're really spreading that offense out, and you've got a lot of, of, of different offensive threats this year. And I think that's one of the things that we – really needed from last year when we didn't have a lot of different offensive threats it was very easy for a team to put a checking line out against the line that would score and now that we've got different people that can carry the weight putting the puck away now it's more difficult to defend all of the lines and it opens up some of the lines when they're playing against other teams second and third lines when I think the interesting thing there too is is, is you look at this year and you've got 10 games where you've had uh, multiple goal scorers, and I know Mike Hill's got four four times he's had uh, uh, two goals or more, and Austin Balco's had a couple of them. And so, again, it's not only that people are scoring once, but you're getting people who are getting multiple goal games, right. which is something you haven't had in the past. No, and, and again, last year's record would be totally different if we had the goal scoring that we have this year. You know, with 14 one-goal losses, that was the one thing that we really needed as a goal scorer that could make a difference at the big time in the game. Um, for example, at Saturday, we're 3-1 with Bethel. It's a great game up and down. Both teams are having great opportunities. And all of a sudden, Ryan Griffiths takes the puck down the wing, fakes the goaltender. The goaltender goes down. He goes around the back of the net and stuffs it in the far side for the fourth goal. Totally opened up the game for us. And uh, Ryan is a hard worker, you know, a role player type. But those are the kind of goals that we're getting out of people that we weren't getting last year. That, that are making the difference. And you certainly can't sit back now and, and, and be happy with a, a sweep of Bethel because you've got St. Thomas this weekend. So really the second weekend in a row that you're playing a league leader. Uh, Bethel and St. Thomas were tied last week and now St. Thomas is ahead of you because of points. You have actually less conference losses, but another big weekend this weekend. It is a big weekend and I think that um, our guys are confident and what we've been trying to instill in them is that you know what, we're only six games into a 16-game schedule, so let's not get too excited, even keel. We don't get too up when, we, when things are going well, and we don't get too down when things aren't. If we can ride, get off the roller coaster and stay even keel, I think that's going to bode very, very well for us as we go down the, the rest of the season. Not to give away your game plan or anything, but heading into the weekend, uh, Friday's game is here at St. Mary's, and then Saturday's up in uh, Mendota Heights. Uh, game plan, what do you need to do to be successful against St. Thomas? We need to play fast. We need to get the tempo of the game up. Uh, we don't want to get into a physical game with them. We don't want to give them extra power play opportunities. We need to do a lot of um, lane swinging and changing and get the puck in full stride and, and beat their defensemen with speed. And, and we pride ourselves on being one of the fastest teams in the league, and we need to use that to our advantage and, and 
try to take home Friday's game first. We don't want to worry about Saturday. If we can take home Friday first, then we put the pressure on them to hold serve when it comes to, to their home game. Friday night at the St. Mary's Ice Arena, 7.30 start, and then Saturday up at Mendota Heights, uh, the St. Thomas Ice Arena, also a 7.30 start. Good luck, Coach. Thank you very much.